What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, the French are dropping more troops off our shores. Um, so we want to take Falmouth to free up this army as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let us attack. So even though they have mortars, we need to push up aggressively. And I'd also probably... It would, it would also be useful if I took the Bahamas so I could start to intercept or interdict the French armies that are being fired at me from the Caribbean, because that's mostly where they're coming from. They're not good quality troops. So they have mortars, but we will be pushing aggressively. Swarm of frontal, frontal assault battle line. Flanking units here. Obviously, you have no cavalry. Yeah, they want to push up. That's okay. I just need to run. So they are going to interfere with my setup slightly, but that's not a massive problem. So let's get an infantry unit to go and engage the auxiliary deliberately. So they don't ruin everyone's deployment plans. Rogues that are recharging in. Well, uh, you might route because you're going to get charged. Unless you're. I was going to say, unless your morale recovers. Let's get the edge out of this elbow. Yeah, my artillery caused my own men to break there. You men, counter charge the native warrior auxiliary. You counter charge the militia. Everyone else, I'm pretty, pretty sure is going to be fine. Take them out. Our colonial line is supposedly winning. That's right, I knew you'd come back. Grenadiers hold position and redeploy. Yeah, we've got so much infantry though, we can create a huge battle line that they can't really do anything about. Yeah, I was going to say you might start getting upset. Waters aren't even firing anymore. Good. Let's charge these men in and get the colonial militia. Let's go support the 27th. Elsewhere, though, it looks like uh, everyone's in really big trouble. unit is going to crumble due to the support of our brave boys charging in to provide support. Yep, they're done. 
charge onwards into that unit of militia, I suppose. Let's try and see if my Coeur de Black could snipe the general. He's only got one guy left. Not that it really matters. Yeah, just the general survived. The lucky swine. There we go. <laughs> Cannons are gone. All my men have set up. So now these last few remaining men are just going to get eviscerated with musket fire. Uh, plinking around the rear, picking out the second colonial regiment of militia. Oh, how cute! It says they're winning slightly. These men have actually one guy's left behind. Yeah, look at that. Fallen in complete disarray. Excellent. And our men are getting very experienced in them. Yeah, let's end it there. That was a nice victory. Five hundred to almost three thousand. Let's repair the city. Let's not fortify it because I am spending money very quickly now by just going, yeah, I'll build walls. So you need to march up to Quebec quickly. Although you might be a better option to try and intercept. And you go to Falmouth. Ready to be sent north. We may be declaring on the Mughal Empire, which if they do declare on us, we will take their region of Trinidad. Good. Problem is, will the Cherokee then decide to ditch me? And if they do... Then my army at Philadelphia will push south and start to secure their territories. The yeah, workers are on strike in Boston, but now they're okay. Let's head in turn. Ah, the British have finally attacked us with another of their armies outside Nassau. Let's get ready for another slaughter. So this army I did originally want to send to take... Jamaica, but because the British aren't really bothering me that much, I'd probably try to take the Bahamas and then try seek peace. And instead, focus on the French. Because, yeah, right now that's where most of their troops are coming from. They're coming from uh, the Caribbean. So we need to be careful about a bit here because we do have there is the possibility that units might come from multiple directions and there's no really great positions to, to put artillery apart from like here so these guys might stay stay limbered up you may have been deployed you have not I'm pretty much just trying to cover my approaches on the right flank rather than form a... Or, could, or I could, actually. No, I don't want to leave them too far out. Ideally, I'd like to deploy out here. So who have I got left? All my cavalry. So let's group you guys together. Okay, you stay here for now. Yeah, look at that. Classic.
suiciding their general. More than welcome, most of their forces are on the right. This is one general's bonding out that's about to fall. You get shooting. We may even do something like this to get these grenadiers into a good firing position as well. Into position. Get into position rapidly. Yeah, just bombard the militia that's coming in. They can't get through the town because their militia, well, their infantry is poor quality and mine is very good. Blasting them. It's another general killed. Yep, trying to charge our lines. Just keep blasting them, gunners. Good kills. So they're marching towards us in a massive block. But many of them are being felled. Let's see these militia, they've pushed in. Close to range. Go charge the garrison militia because your, your cavalry may as well do something useful. Good, they fell back. Yeah, this flank's collapsed completely. Which is good. God, you are going to die. Try get them involved, but also charge with the seventh into the rear of these militia. Shaken, wavering. Oh, come on, break! You've just lost like a hundred guys in a few seconds. Chop them up. Make sure they don't come back. Good. You managed to have a good time against the Buccaneers. Burn powder with canister shot, gentlemen. Charge into the African in infantry. Halt fire at will. Pivot my men. It's 
guys, one of you can chase down that garrison colonial infantry. More men are entering the battlefield. Pull my cavalry back. Start hitting the reinforcements with round shots as they join. Yeah, the 16th Regiment isn't... They're not uh, getting fired upon with the full firepower of two units, but they will still suffer. Close quarters combat from the 19th. The 19th Regiment of Militia with Afri native African units. Whereas the 4th Regiment of Grenadiers stand tall. Okay, let's deploy. Cavalry into the melee again. Charge my cavalry up and uh, limber up my guns. Just do as much damage as you humanly can. Okay, well these men are going to form a new battle line. You can continue doing what you're doing. You've not lost many men compared to them. Let's take this infantry and also form up a new position. You guys reposition your limbers. Yeah, everyone's died. So let's just recall our cavalry, they've done their part. Looks like everyone else is going to. Uh... Well, yeah, my cavalry's, they've done enough. <laughs> Let's bring them back. They're encouraged, but they're tired. Might limber you up before you start killing too many of your own men. Let's charge our men into combat just to end this fight on the flank. So it's a foot guard unit and a line infantry unit against a militia units. So I like my art. So let's redeploy our, our guns like that. Yeah, I don't like your guys' odds of survival. Especially when, like, We're just going to do something like this. To push right up into your face. As our gunners are just getting into a firing position. Nope, you stop shooting because you're sh Nope, all of you stop. Engage them. Don't shoot this side combat. Ah, oh, they're losing slightly, are they? Oh no. Let's 
We can take a few more casualties charging up to their, their ranks. But damn, it's going to be over quick. Fire! Yeah, the 39th have broken. The 31st have also broken. And what about this combat on the flank? Yep, yeah, they've also broken. Good stuff. Yeah, let's end the battle there. <laughs> that was quite a nice victory. I mean, vi oh, look at that for a ratio. They've still got two and a half thousand men left, so it's not over. More orders? Waiting for your orders. Apparently this is 50-50, so let's fight it. <laughs> yeah, we will have secured our first overseas colonial outpost. I mean, I'm considering colonial as in non... non-terrestrial landmass. I don't feel taking the East Coast as Louisiana counts as colonialism. People will disagree, especially with things like, you know, Great Britain, Great Britain and Ireland. But I think, of, I, you know, in the, in the context of empire, I think of colonialism as something overseas. So let's deploy our guns. In real life, obviously, things are a lot more complicated and different, and I'm not going to go anywhere near that. Let's take these units off to one side. General to the rear. Come at us, fellas. So I've just gone straight to uh, straight to increase speed. Although to be honest, I may as well just push up. Didn't think about that. This is going to be a really quick and dirty battle anyway, just because they're so weak and full of poor quality troops, even with their reinforcements that are currently reinforcing through where we just fought our last battle, I think. Yeah, so look, the militia's just gone immediately. Realistically, I don't think the guns are going to get involved. Just speed up time. Because they are walking up, as are we, to join in the centre. Although my infantry may get told to run to make sure they do get into position. Guns are beginning the long walk up to their new position. Yep, yeah, there goes the 17th. <laughs> to be honest, I'm probably just going to play this battle on, on um, fast speed, uh, mainly because look at it. These are units that, as soon as they get within range, they're going to break and run. I mean, then clearly a militia unit decides to change. But yeah, look, this is... The guns aren't even involved at this point. My cavalry's not involved at this point. Yeah, let's see, they're all gone. Let's hit that garrison unit. Just all my cavalry storm straight in. To be honest, hold fire. Yeah, general killed. Yeah. 
Um, had to fight it because it was a, you know, I don't trust the auto resolve system at times, especially when it says it's 50 50. But there we go, Nassau is ours, but here come the French. So, understandably, they've taken Quebec because of our export, our excellent uh, transport network or internal our internal network. Um, but we'll soon take Quebec back. But a good chunk of this is due to the fact that we don't have a decent navy to be able to head these armies off. We have a few small fleets of fifth-rate ships of the line, but they're not navies. They're not proper navies, let's just say that. Yeah, I don't trust you, Mughal Empire. I do not trust you at all. <gasps> the Huron have declared on us, and the Cherokee have joined them. Joined us. Yeah, I wouldn't celebrate too quickly. Maintain for now. Okay, so the Huron have declared. So they're going to go after Moose Factory. So you guys march up to Montreal. Should really have cancelled recruitment of all those troops now. You need to go back and settle down those guys. You need to turn around and go and hit this French landing position. Upgrade the dockyard. Let's move the army to Boston. Because we now have a ship. We've got three turns till it's built, so I may as well add on another fifth. Okay, so we need to go take out the Huron. Uh, what do I want you to do? Hmm. New model bayonet drill would be good. We think actually Hartford. Mm. Might get one of these chaps. Probably Hartford. Is because even though that can build a naval hospital, I need to build the intermediate dockyard to build the naval hospital. So let's get them on to. Although actually everything's all more expensive. The naval hospital. So I think I may as well just let you do it. Yep, so they did naval shore facilities. I need a, let's make sure Anita's doing cheap research. So you do longitude watch, Hartford, you do. I mean, can I just go straight to naval hospital? I doubt it. I think I do have to just go through the. Cause I can't, if I can't build a dry dock, I can't build a naval hospital. So they may as well go on to the naval architectures. Good. So right now I'm just doing a bit of admin. Upgrade the roads. Let's repair the port. Let's take this army. Knock out the leftovers. Get back to Nassau and replenish your troops. So let's try. Peace out with Britain. Mainly because there's no point to staying at war with Britain. We've kicked them off the continent. We could take you know, Port Royal and Curacao, but these ones are the ones we're focusing on because look, there's another army waiting. So let's make promote an admiral, leave a fifth rate behind, and let's see if we can. Uh, oh, then again, we can't actually. Can't get into that port. Yeah, to be honest, we just need bigger, more powerful ships. So, Your Majesty. what do we want to do first? Well, we need to kill uh, Mr. Chaffee, and we need to kill. Well, we're going to retake Quebec. That's going to be. Oh, they've got mortars and bowmen. I have no cavalry. Okay, first of all. No, not General's bodyguard. Let's get two. Get one cuirassier and two colonial light cav. They'll go north. 
to help fight the guys fighting Quebec, or fighting in Quebec. We can displace some of that infantry into a new army. Which I'm probably just going to dump a load of troops out of Boston. Can't recruit any more Royal Escossais. Okay. Send Theodore against this French army. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing skirmishes against those pesky French. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>